The goal of this question is to identify the homologous series, which remember once again is things like alcohols, alkenes, alkynes, aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids. That's what they want for this one. And then they also want to know what is the general formula. The general formula is like things like CNH2N minus 2 or CNH2N uh, or CNH2N uh, O2, for example. Sorry, that's meant to be an N over there. So that's the general formula, okay? So if we look at this molecule, we can see that this is a very basic molecule. There are no oxygens. There are no double bonds. There are no triple bonds. So this is the most basic molecule of all. This is the alkanes. So under the homologous, the answer for that one would be L canes. Now for the general formula, you could memorize this if you wanted to, but if you do want to find a better way to do it, then what I'll show you is the following. Just count how many things there are. So there are four carbons. If you count the number of hydrogens, there would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so you might not be able to identify a relationship over there. But what I would show you is the following. For every carbon, there are two hydrogens. Can you see it? For every carbon, there are two hydrogens. So what I could say then is that, okay, so, so, so yeah, first remember that. For every carbon, there are two hydrogens. So we could say something like CN, and then there would be double the amount of hydrogens. Then on the end, there's one extra hydrogen and one extra hydrogen. So there will always be two extra hydrogens. So we can just say, plus two. So for example, if we had a if we had a molecule that had, for example, six carbons, then I'm not gonna draw the hydrogens out, but you know they're there, right? So what we could say then is that there would be one, two, three, four, five, six hydrogens, I mean carbons. And then for every carbon there would always be two hydrogens. You see them? So you could say H twelve. And then there's always going to be these two random ones on the end. So we could just say um, plus two, which would then be 14 hydrogens in total. Okay, so Kevin, so what's the answer, my dude? Well, this is the answer over here. We know that we should know that for alkanes, the general formula is going to be CnH2n plus Two. So as I said, you could memorize that if you wanted to, or you could just try to work it out each time. And I think that's a better approach because it really shows that you understand your work.